Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com. You're joining me on the stern of good old narrowboat Tilly and we're gonna go for just a nice little walk. I'm gonna head up the canal to Chick, get a few supplies. How perfect is that? Last night when I went to bed I was all cosy in front of an absolutely roaring fire because it was really cold out and it was hammering with rain and if you actually stood up outside then the wind would chill you to your bones as well. And waking up this morning to find this. Well, as I'm sure you can probably imagine, I was quite pleased. <laughs> and the view that I absolutely love, particularly now that the sun's catching it, is the view looking straight back over the stern of the boat. And you just have, if I can get that a little bit better um, in focus there, you've just got the autumn trees overhanging the canal on a nice little sweeping curve there. Absolutely lovely stuff. I just wanted to put this little video together, firstly because it was actually a day with some good weather which not many of my recent walking and biking videos have uh, had dry days, let alone with the sun in the sky. But really I wanted to just share with you a few of the lovely little bridges and old points of interest along the canal on one of the most frequent walks that I do all year round, but particularly over the winter when obviously I'm moored up in this area where I basically will just walk down the canal and up into the little village of Chirk and go through all of these little places through all sorts of weather conditions. I've been here when there's snow being down here and huge quantities cut in the canal with fallen trees and all times of day from first thing in the morning when I'm walking down to Chirk to get the bus to go walking up hills in the little Welsh village of Langoflin and equally sometimes last thing at night I can't resist just heading in and maybe getting a a packet of chips or something like that or maybe just some junk food in general and then walking back up this way and then up to me friends houses but really these are just some of the places that I do frequently I mean I can't explain to you how often I come down here sometimes like literally every day of the week sometimes down and back and that's a familiar door for any Lord of the Rings fans I'm sure and I just really wanted to be able to really show you a little bit more in depth and a little closer up of some of these little places like this is where I first ever spent any winter mooring time just by this bridge here and there's so many of these really old little features and really bizarre sort of half created and modified later bridges and of course this is the centrepiece that draws all the crowds because of the amazing weather, it was very difficult to get the camera to focus, so I've got a few different little clips here just to make sure that we get all of that Chirk Aqueduct and Viaduct goodness. Obviously, the one we're standing on with the canal is the Aqueduct, and the taller one to the left-hand side is the Viaduct. So that's the railway and the canal going into Chirk, or very close to Chirk. Just a few different shots here. You're looking down the Kiriog Valley there. Once again, lots of walking, lots of hills in that direction. And equally, just to round off the different ways and means of transport that you can get in and out of Chirk, you've obviously first of all got trains and boats. Just to the right-hand side of all this is the road up into Chirk. And believe it or not, Chirk has also got its own airfield. Only a very small one for small aircraft. But you can literally get into Chirk by boat, car, train and plane. Anyway, as we look up at the church, just on the sort of very first corner of the village, I'll say thank you very much for watching. This has just been a quick one because I just wanted to share a few of these little places and bridges and little bits and pieces like that. And of course, feel free to subscribe and check out all of my narrowboat life videos and general walking and biking and outdoors things. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter and like the Facebook page for general photos and updates from life on the canal. And of course, check out my books for the Kindle. Just search for The Narrowboat Lad on Amazon and have a fantastic day. Until the next time, keep it canal side and farewell.